December 1944. 228,000 men marched into the Ardennes woods in Belgium. For the next month and then some, a winter war would ensue. I found myself detached from my platoon by a storm. Lost, cold, missing Anna, missing Cole. Almost went out before I even had breakfast. Foolish would that be? It's a far cry <clears throat> from Belgium, but uh, snow is snow is my philosophy. Got most of my gear here staged out. German coat one, German coat two. This is to keep rivets from ripping my hair out. Um, you remember this old thing. Um, got my Tommy. The only thing I'm missing is I need to get the MP40 from storage. Um, although father forgot the storage unit number. Hopefully we can get that figured out. Of course, I can't forget the good old steel pot. 
I find the magic in storytelling happens between the flicker of an idea and the shutter of the camera. Um, I, if you look at my short films, um, those aren't, those are not scripted. Um, key events, I may have written down a basic outline, um, but it's improv. Um, I love improv. I like doing improv. It's fun. Um, and uh, the principle of improv is yes and. So uh, when God throws the snow at me, I say yes and uh, Battle of the Bulge. So, <clears throat> of course, I'm reprising my uh, role as Taylor Booth from Among the Dead in Monte Casino. And yes, I had to uh, look up the video <laughs> to remember what I named the character. Obviously, I've uh, grown a bit since then. I mean, same nose, you know, hair's still long, although now it's just long enough that I'm keeping it kempt. Um, I actually got it trimmed back. It used to be able to come down here. Um, and then I trimmed this back a little. Um, I figure it's all right. Character's been in the woods for a while. Um, hasn't really... The barber's not as necessary when you're freezing your butt off, you know? <clears throat> and, of course, when you're a sergeant. It's kind of like being a director slash creative leader of the project. There's not really a lot of people who can tell you what to do. So there's leeway in that, you know? I wish my best friend was here <clears throat> to reprise his role. Um, but that's the situation. That's what happens when you do things spontaneously is, um, you don't always have the crew you'd really wish you had. A lot has <clears throat> transpired in, uh, the last few years for me, um, as one might expect. <laughs> um, like, I'm 21 now. Just a few months, I'll be 22. Um, this channel was never really one set thing. Um, it was what I wanted to do. And what I wanted to do at first was a lot of Star Wars. Um, and then I did Plastic Soldiers, and I tried to do Let's Plays. I wanted, I've always, I've always pretended like I was doing a Let's Play whenever I was playing a game. Um, I just, my stick to itness is non-existent because of my ADHD. Um, that's why all my short films are the unscripted things. They're the spontaneous ideas that I just had the circumstances that I could make happen. And it's not that I didn't want to create anything the last few years. It's that I didn't have the motivation. Um, with high school, a lot of my time was sapped away just trying to recover from the stress of school and life surrounding that. Um, and it's, I, this last year I became more, uh, last two years I did a lot more TikTok. Um, so that's, I found that easy, a really easy place to pull my creative resources. And I did do a lot of creative things on there. And I'd love to in time try to share some of what I did on there with you. It's harder now because I have several thousand videos on there. It's hard to dig back through stuff. Uh, <laughs> I have dirt in my pocket. These pants were probably used back in the trench uh, in Monte Cassino. This channel has been a journey. It's been an experiment, an endeavor. It's been me putting my creative energy out for like five people to watch who will actually care about it. Um, and I'm okay with that. Because I'm not doing it to be liked, to be famous. I'm doing it because I want to create, because I love creating. I was raised with the gold box Star Wars Special Editions, and I watched those How It Was Made sequences. And I didn't just look at uh, the Ralph McQuarrie art and go, okay, I want to do concept art. I didn't just look at um, the costume stuff and go, I want to do costume. I didn't just look at George and go, I want to direct, or... Hamill and go, I want to act. I looked at all of it and I said, yes, I want to do all of it. I want to 
create. I want to make what's going on in here come on to here so that people can look at it and get maybe a glimpse into how I see the world. And maybe learn something from it. Maybe enjoy it. I don't know. If you enjoy it, that's awesome. If not, I'm sorry. Uh, there's plenty of other stuff that you probably will enjoy. I just happen to like dressing up in a World War II uniform and pretending to be a soldier and dressing up in German uniforms and pretending to shoot at myself. That's just my thing. And if that's not your thing, who cares? You know? <laughs> Obviously, if that's not your thing, you're probably not even at this sequence. So, I don't really know what else to say. Well... While you're seeing this at the end of the video, I have to go and finish preparations to shoot the video itself. So, yeah. Signing off. A little behind the scenes. We're on location. It's, uh, I forgot my balaclava. That's great. Couldn't get into uh, the storage place. So I don't have my MP40. That's great. That's fine. It is what it is, you know. Um, I can throw a bunch of riflemen at a tailor. He can handle that. He's a, he's a real good sport about that, you know. He's a great, great guy. Come in the corner! Cut. 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 Rolling. That was just a standing. 